Good morning and welcome to this video walkthrough of our BK Parkstone. It's a 3512 two bed from 2004. It's got double glazing and it's got gas central heating and it's priced at 7645. I'm going to have a look around the caravan, look at the layout and condition, but uh, from the off, going to be very clear with this one. This is priced up to be sold cosmetically as it is. Um, looking through it, you'll see that it's pretty tired and fair bit of uh, work is needed. Things like the, the upholstery, you know, we've got back cushions missing, um, bottom cushions ripped. There's been a dog in here, um, so it's not had a clean through yet, but I mean, it's a strong smell of dog and a um, lot of dog hair and things like that. So really it suits someone wanting to come in, rip out all the seating, rip out all the carpets, start again in here. Um, some of the walls have been painted and there's obvious signs where a dog's been uh, chewing away at a few bits and pieces. So as I say, being very clear with this one, um, but it's priced up as it is. Um, we'll still do all the testing we do and make sure it's watertight, um, give it a warranty for your gas, your water, electrics, and your water ingress, things like that. So all the normal bits we do, we still do, but essentially not promising anything cosmetically. So it's priced up as it is around about seven and a half thousand pounds um, as a double glazed gas centrally heated caravan. Would certainly, would certainly be worth at least a couple of grand more if it was in original decent condition. But like I say, it's intended for someone to come along and rip it apart really and uh, start again with what you want to do. But just trying to be very clear with uh, with that from the off and what the condition is and everything like that. So I'm going to have a look around now. Um, I'm not going to point out every small tiny thing um, because, as I say, it is designed here to be um, refurbished. So I'm not going to point out every cosmetic bit that's wrong with it. Um, if you've got any issues, um, well, not issues, but if you've got any questions and things and you really want to have a look at it, it's uh, best to come and see in person really just to check it out. Not something we're going to sell over the internet just because we'd rather you come and have a look and make sure you're happy with how it is. So um, that all being said and explained, let's have a look around. So as you can see, we've got this dining seating area on the left-hand side, and then we've got the wraparound seating for the living area on our right-hand side. Um, there is a coffee table in the corner, and there is a space where there would have been a TV unit. This carpet in here, um, as I say, a lot of dog hair and things, but I think it's probably been changed uh, because the original carpet over in the corner is still there uh, from uh, from before. So. As you can see, that greenish color carpet um, is the original, so they've just cut new carpet around the unit that was there, but um, that's since been removed. Gas fire on the left-hand side, as I say, we will test that and make sure it's all working. Um, you can see they've had something fitted to the wall on the left there, covering over the flue access there. Um, but we can look to see, maybe fit a picture or a mirror or something like that there if needed um, to cover up the flue. Looking around then, you can see we've got a lot of windows and there's no curtains. Uh, all the pelmets need edging or uh, stripping off the Velcro and things like that. But there's a, a lot of natural light coming in. Firstly, because of the lack of curtains, that always means that there's more natural light. But I mean, look at the size of that dining window there. So that's a really big window on that side there. So uh, if you were going to strip out all the seating there and fit a dining table and chairs there, you're going to get a lot of natural light coming in through there onto that table. So that's really nice. Um, coming back up towards the kitchen, a um, lot of the doors, uh, well, the top doors have been painted white. There's still some delamination. I thought it was because they delaminated and they stripped it off, but they haven't. Um, you can still see the fact that like that one, for example, is delaminating, but they've painted over the top of it. The bottom doors are the original color. Um, your normal um, caravan looking doors um, but as I say they have painted the top ones um, all the walls uh, most of the wall space has been painted in the living area in the kitchen um, above the top of the units there as you can see the original color is there um, they've painted it sort of a different color in the kitchen to the rest of the caravan um, around these walls which is more of a white color um, and then the kitchen is blue got some shelves or drawers rather on the side here on the end of this extra piece of worktop where we've got our external door and um, just one external door that comes in there got a small um, under counter fridge there although it's not under a counter but you could fit a much bigger fridge freezer in there if you wanted to there's a door here separating off our living area from our bedroom so we open that and go to the back of the caravan we find our main bedroom We've got um, just a, a, well, it's a big double bed. Um, it's a double mattress and then a couple of singles underneath. There's no bed base in here at the moment. Again, no curtains. They've got the normal um, caravan style doors around the top of the bed 
and over to the left so you've got wardrobe space you've got a little desk and mirror unit and then lots of cupboards and uh, space over the top of the bed it does smell a little bit damp in here I think it's just because it's been uh, you know you can see the mattress is damp um, it just needs clearing out really and um, giving a good clean and sorting out um, doesn't actually smell of dog I would say the look at the carpets I would say the dog's been in the front end of the caravan in the living area not at the back the bedrooms just um, as I say it does smell a bit damp in the back here but um, more that it's just been shut up and needs a good air in and drying out really rather than any water ingress as such um, but um, as I say I don't think the dog's come back much further than the hallway door so it's been generally at the front um, nice big window here on the uh, door side of the caravan again no curtains on it but it's a nice big window for a lot of natural light and then turning around again you can see over to the other side um, this room has not been painted at all so they obviously did the hallway there and then stopped and didn't do the back bedroom We've got an ensuite toilet in here off the main bedroom Coming back out of there then and to the hallway you can see here the walls have been painted and coming up and turning right into our twin room. So this um, would have originally had, well this bed here is usually one I think that's a lift up bed um, that fits onto the wall. They've kind of taken it apart, all the slats and stuff are missing so we're probably just going to take that out, um, leave it with one single bed in here. Um, mattress is decent there and um, just a single single. Um, single bed in here and then really probably just looking at putting some storage on the right hand side here uh, wardrobe that goes from the floor almost to the ceiling carpets in here um, I don't know what they've been doing unless the dog's been in there it's all because the wood's been chewed a little bit um, but the carpet looks like in here the dog's been so I'd say yeah um, carpets really throughout the caravan need ripping up start again with the carpet start again with the seating and things like that Turning to our side here and seeing the bathroom, and we've got this sort of tiled um, mosaic for floor, mosaic, mosaic floor, um, and uh, we've got a kitchen, uh, <laughs> bathroom sink, bathroom toilet there, and then we've got our shower. It's a big shower actually. The door goes back all the way. It's like a two-third sliding door there. So, um, and then your shower enclosure itself is a pretty good size, as you can see, pretty wide in there. So that's very handy and the bathroom again has been painted so the only room they haven't painted um, was the twin room painted no so they just haven't painted the bedrooms everywhere else has been painted but to be honest again really it needs repainting so um, just to reiterate sold as it is cosmetically really it's a project refurbishment for someone to come along put their own touch on it rip all the seating out and the carpet start again we have got a big 36 12 two bed caravan with double glazing with central heating which is priced up cheaper than it would be um, if it was all clean and tidy let's have a look around the outside so we are outside here of the bk park stone i'm trying to avoid the sun because it's shining shining going to shine straight into the camera in a minute as we walk around um, there is a couple of marks on this door side of the caravan so around the sign here or sticker rather there's a bit of a mark on the panel and then to the side of the um, dining window there there's a bit of a mark on the panel um, other than that it looks to be okay I'm going to try and keep it at an angle where the sun doesn't shine straight into the camera might be a bit of a struggle now it is a lovely day here so far um, we've got a bit of damage here in the panel and then the biggest bit at the top here they fitted a bit of tape there we need to get that tape off and have a look at it and see um, what's going on we just have a feel of it yeah it looks it's damaged there someone's put a little bit of a puncture through the panel there so we could probably patch that um, in the side there or fit a vent or something over the top of it so what we often do if we need to um, with the once the customers had a look and we assess what, what we can do with it um, but it's all just obviously about having a chat when you come and have a look at it inside a few marks on the side here as well so the outside um, is not in brilliant condition there's um, a bit of a dent on the back which you might not be able to see because of the sun there's a dent just in the middle here so um, yeah one of those that's um, a little bit poor on the outside to be fair 
in comparison to a lot of them. A bit more damage than you'd expect from this sort of aged caravan. Um, the extra external door here is for the boiler. I think it's probably locked. Yeah, but the boiler is in there. And if we drop down, look at the chassis. The chassis is tidy. It's not galvanised, but as you can see, um, it's perfectly tidy. So that's our BK Park Stone 35 by 12 two bed with double glazing, gas central heating, priced at 7645 and as I said intended for a refurbishment project basically for someone to come along and do what they want to do with it. Any questions as always just give us a call and we're uh, happy to chat it through. Cheers.